Okay, I'm in Mastercam X7. I'm doing the, a desktop sign. First thing I do is I open up the software and I select the tool I'm going to use. I go machine type router and you want to use techno servo. If that is not under your router menu, you go to manage list and then you find that router, the techno. And then you add it to the list. So here it is, techno servo. You add it to the list. Then once it's added, you hit OK. And then you go back to machine type, router, and you select the techno servo. Once you select techno servo, it should pop up here. So step one is your tool. Step two is you go to stock setup. And in stock setup, I'm going to keep the bit in the center of my stock. So that's good. In my X direction, I'm going to say 12. In my Y direction, I'm going to go um, two and three quarters. And my wood is 13 16 or a little over three quarters thick. Okay, if I want to see that box on my screen, I hit display here, green check mark, and then it should be on my screen. If I hit F9, now give me my crosshairs. Okay, and then I'll zoom out a little bit, and there's my box. So, first thing is tool, and then stock, and now I'm going to create my geometry. I'm going to create letters. And um, I'm going to use a box font. No, actually, I'm going to use, yeah, the box font, MCX, no, MCX block font. So it's MCX block font. I'm going to type my name in here, Jonathan or Mr. Schwartz or whatever you want it to say. Uh, I'm going to try like a half inch high letters, so 0.5. And then I'm going to click it in the lower part of my box. There it is. Okay. And then up here, this is fit, fit window. So that, that's actually a little too small. So I'm actually going to try and redo that. So I'm going to select it all, delete it. Let me do that again. Create letters. I want to use that block font. Maybe I'll try Mr. Schwartz instead. Mr. Schwartz. I think the letter is a little bit bigger, maybe 0.7. I'll put it in here. And that's actually a pretty good fit right there. Okay. Um, so I like that. I do want it centered in my board. So I'm going to go X form drag. I select all of it, I click, I'm done selecting, so I hit the green ball up here, and that means I'm done selecting, and then where do you want to grab it? I'm going to grab it here and drag it up and over. Oh, it's a pretty tight fit, so I probably should have gone a little bit smaller. And I'm, not, I'm going to center it, you know, horizontally, but not vertically. I like it a little higher up. So that actually copied it, because this is selected. I'm going to click this one, and that's... Um, Let's actually move it instead of copy. So I'm all done. That looks good. I'll go to fit screen. This right here is clear colors. And then now I'm all done my geometry. Next thing I'm going to do is go toolpath. And I'm going to do this as a engraving toolpath. That's a good name. I'm going to select it with a window. I select the whole thing. I build this box around it. It does not change color. I have to click inside for it to turn yellow. I'm all done. Green check mark. Uh, I'm going to use, let me select a tool here. I think I'll use like a half inch, 45 degree bit. Yeah, there it is. Half inch, 45 degree bit. So that's good. That's a good feed rate, good plunge rate, 200, 100. We're not taking out very much wood. So those are good set there. Engraving parameters. I'm going to make all of these absolute. And then my depth, because I call the top of stock zero, it's going to have to be a negative value. I might make it negative, a little deeper than that, negative 0.07 or 0.08. And we'll see how that looks. The width of the letter is determined by its depth because it's a V cutter. So I like those settings. I hit OK. It's all toolpath. 
I'm going to verify. I'm going to verify in an isometric view, run play. Uh, after I play it, I can see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. I close that. I'm going to save this. I go file, save as, and I want to save it on, on my student folder or teacher folder. So make sure you keep the file. And then in addition to doing that, then you're also going to post it. So we have to use a flash drive. Let me plug in a flash drive. So I have a flash drive plugged in. And now I'm going to post it. I hit G1 to post. Techno step, that is correct. And then I'm going to put on that flash drive. Here's my name on that flash drive, desktop sign. And I, I usually title these things something like the size of my board. So always X first. I think it was 12. It's a little crowded, so actually I'll keep it at 14. 14 by 3, Schwartz, NC file, numeric code file. I hit save. And now it's converting all these vectors into the Cartesian coordinates. So it's writing the code for me so I don't have to write it myself. Okay, so that's all my code. Let's see how many lines of code there are. Yeah, so 739 lines of code. Now I take that flash drive out in the shop and then I go and run it out there. So that's it. That's the desktop sign for CIM.